Hey, what's up YouTubers? Lee John Blackmore here, Super Easy Guitar. So yes, okay, all of us from time to time get stuck in a rut. We get bored of playing the same old thing. Why oh why am I learning this pentatonic? Why aren't I advancing? I don't know what to learn. And you find yourself scrolling through, you know, different YouTube channels, trying to find some inspiration perhaps. But I'm gonna show you a few things whereas you won't necessarily have to go online. You'll just be able to think a little bit differently about what you're doing. I'm gonna show you three different things you can do to help you kind of improve, shake off this guitar boredom and get to a new level in your guitar playing. The first thing I'm gonna show you for me was an absolute game changer. Let's have a look. So you may or may have not seen this type of thing before. Now, don't be concerned. It isn't a complicated thing. It's literally a picture of a fretboard and the dots are where your fingers go. It's kind of just like a key to unlocking moving around the fretboard. I'm gonna give you a backing track to play along with. So I'm just gonna, you know, loop along my recording so you can just play this video and play along with me to make things easier. I'll give you a little example. So rather than just thinking of things as scales, you can actually move them around the fretboard and it always looks more impressive to move across the fretboard like this than just stay in, in one position and so on, right? Before you look at this and have a heart attack and think, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna be able to do any of this. If we just look at five and eight, then you can see five and seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, eight, five, eight. So hopefully some of you will recognize that as a pentatonic. Okay. And that works because I'm starting on the first note, which is A minor, which is also in the key of E minor. They share the same notes. Now you don't have to understand this. You just have to follow the shapes in the beginning, have some fun with it and then will put the two together so you get a much better understanding of it. For example, if you wanted to do the E minor pentatonic, we can just start right down here. But it's far more interesting to do this, right? So mess around with it, have fun with it, use it creatively.
So, okay, you might not be into the whole guitar soloing thing. That's okay. If you're like me, you might like to write songs and mess around with stuff. But you might get stuck in this trap of, oh, okay, so I know these chords down here. Now what? Well, of course I could go into talking about playing chords up the fretboard, but there's something a lot more interesting you can do. One of the tricks I've used in the past is to take a song I'm already familiar with and take some components and perhaps play it backwards or put it in my own sequence. It's how I learn to write songs. For example, there might be a really famous song. G, D, C. But if we reverse that, change the rhythm a bit. So that's a simple, simple example, right? But let's take something more interesting and perhaps a little bit more technical. I'll take this famous song that everyone will know. I'm going to change the rhythm. And I'm going to play it kind of in reverse. Check it out. Any ideas? Let me know in the comments box below. And uh, if I play it the way forward, I'll probably get told off for copyright. So good luck. So I've just remembered another one on the fly. I'm going to put my capo on the seventh fret. So I apologize. I haven't practiced this. I'm going to go from memory. So I'm kind of working stuff out backwards. I've changed the rhythm and all that kind of stuff. And not all the chords might make sense. So let's have a look. Now to me, to my ear, it kind of reminds me of Life on Mars by David Bowie. But believe me, I'm definitely not playing that. Let me know in the comments box below if you know what I'm playing. So that's just a suggestion. Take all those songs you love, learn them in reverse, remove some chords, put them back together, see what you come up with. It could sound really interesting. Something I'm very fond of doing, even though growing up I was big into blues and then as I got a bit older, I got really heavily into metal and all sorts of genres in metal. And you might have guessed that already from some of my tutorials. But at the same time, I love to dip into other genres of music. Now, if you're a big metalhead or if you're just into folk music or pop or whatever, it's really good to play something completely outside your genre. Now, for example, genres like drum and bass, well, I'm not sure. If you can play drum and bass on the guitar, I'd be very interested to hear on what you come up with, and I'm sure there's people all over YouTube doing it. But I'm talking about, you know, keeping it within the realm of guitar. And for example, you know, I've learned stuff in the past using kind of like jazz chords which sound really lovely. And it's not something I'll sit down in the house and listen to, but I find it really refreshing and interesting and it opens my mind up to different ideas. And you can end up incorporating this into your own songwriting. So that's very important as well. And not only that, you know, if you want to play with different musicians, it's good to kind of know a little bit of everything, right? Spanish or jazz or even classical. And I've been learning a bit of classical recently, and this is totally the wrong guitar to be playing it on.
so I'll leave my mistakes in so you can see exactly where I'm going wrong and how much work I need to do just to let you guys know I have to work on this stuff as well it's difficult even though they're pretty basic chords I'm not used to doing this classical technique with the right hand and it throws everything off and what I've got in here is click 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 I've got my metronome to keep me in check and I'm still playing out of time so it takes work but you can only get better from doing this stuff so there you have it guys, hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. Please don't forget, hit that subscribe button if you'd like to receive my weekly updates. Don't forget you can find the tabs for free over on my website, just go to the VIP section. You'll also find a donation button over there. Any loose change goes a massive way to help me continue making these videos. If you enjoy them, let me know. And I've also got some merchandise for sale over on my website as well, check it out and I'll make a small percentage from that as well, it just helps me out. Let me know any requests, guys. I'm sorry I can't do as many covers as I used to, but I'll definitely get back into that. Really appreciate your support, and I'll see you again the same time next week. Mm -hmm.